Because March is National Nutrition Month, and this year's theme is all about discovering what healthy eating looks like for you. Great to have registered dietitian Suma Op back on the show, joins us to share a couple of her favorites. Good morning, Sue. And I love that you actually delivered some food to us so we can do it together. I know you're missing your food there, so I was so happy to have my food stylist drop off some food so you can actually taste test and enjoy these delicious recipes that I'll be making for Nutrition Month. Yeah, so what is Nutrition Month all about, besides the obvious? Well, March is always National Nutrition Month, and this year the theme is discovering what is healthy for you. Because healthy eating looks different for all of us, right? Our food choices depend on our culture, it depends on our stage of life, and also our personal uh, circumstances. So for this Nutrition Month, I'd like to show two of my favorite recipes that use some familiar, but also maybe some new ingredients uh, that have a lot of nutrition and flavor. Do you want to start with the soup? Do you want to go there first? Yeah, so let's talk about the ingredients in the soup. Okay. I've teamed up with Ontario Dairy today to make a sweet potato and ginger soup. And what I love about the soup is that it uses all the ingredients that I already have in my kitchen and pantry. So sweet potatoes, ginger, lime, and milk. Cooking with milk adds so much nutrition to your recipes like vitamin A, vitamin D, protein, and zinc. So here's the recipe. Those are all the ingredients that we need, super simple. The sweet potato gives us beta carotene and fiber. I'm using whole milk because that gives a creaminess to the soup, and that gives us vitamin A, which helps to uh, maintain our vision, as well as vitamin D, which helps to support our immune system. So the recipe, just add your sweet potatoes into the pot, add some ginger, pour in the chicken broth, and then just let it boil and simmer for about 20 minutes until the potatoes are soft. Puree it with a, a immersion blender or a blender. And then now we're gonna add the milk. So here we're adding high quality protein, which gives us energy to get through the day, as well as zinc, which supports our healthy skin. That's the lime juice that I've just poured in. It gives it a bit of a zing. And there's our sweet potato and ginger soup. I've added some toasted almonds on top, a little bit of coriander. And I'd love for you to try it and tell me what It's delicious. And it's actually, it's warm. <laughs> you deliver it to the studio in a thermos and it's nice and warm and really, 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 really yummy. It tastes the, the lime, the milk adds the creaminess, the vitamin A, vitamin D, protein, and zinc. And I know you're going to post this recipe on your website. To learn more about the nutrients in milk, you can go to the website whatcantmilkdo.com. So that's my first recipe. Yeah. Super delicious, super easy. Uh, on to the next one. This is more interactive for me because we're building here. What are we building? Chicken lettuce wraps. I love this recipe. So simple. So uh, we're going to use some ground chicken, lots of vegetables, again, for fiber. So we have carrots, we have water chestnuts, and we have onions. You're just going to mix it all together and cook it. And then the secret sauce is a hoisin sauce plus some soy sauce. So here are all the ingredients that you need. I do a mise en place, so I get all my ingredients ready to go, and then the cooking is super simple. So again, we have the carrots, the onions, the water chestnuts, which is actually a type of vegetable that gives it a nice crispy texture. And so you're just gonna cook up the ground chicken, cook up the carrots, the onions, the water chestnuts, mix it all together, and then here comes that secret sauce, the hoisin sauce, soy sauce, and some sesame oil. Mix it all in. That becomes the chicken filling. With, and so, with hoisin sauce, Sue, can you find that at any grocery store? Is that easy to find? Well, I've, I've been finding hoisin sauce at my local grocery store. If you can't find hoisin sauce, you can substitute with oyster sauce or even some soy sauce. Awesome. Okay, so, now, now it's time to put these together. We're going to put it together, so I'm going to help you, and we're going to do it together. So you grab, you grab the lettuce leaf, put a scoop or two of that chicken filling into the center of the lettuce, right? Okay. You've got it. And now you're just going to put on some uh, julienne red pepper and green onion for that freshness. And what kind, and of, what kind of lettuce are you using here, Sue? You can use any lettuce. This is Boston or Bib lettuce, right. but you can use any sort of lettuce, it gives it a freshness and it really becomes a finger food that's fun for the entire family to eat. Well, the, the Boston bib is perfect because it's like kind of the perfect size and the, the foldability to do that. Okay, um, where can you get more info on, on, to get this recipe, Sue? You can go to my website, nutritionsolutions.ca, and for more information about the nutrients in milk, whatcantmilkdo.com. Nice.
Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Have a good day. We'll see you back here tomorrow.